Hey, what's up you guys? So I am sounding a little bit better, so I decided to get you with that Q&A. Let's go. Your YouTube volleyball trainer coach and I'm here to help you improve your volleyball skills and this is where volleyball passions blossom so if you haven't already subscribed make sure it's on this side or this side make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content follow me on Instagram at Coco Volley and it's all gonna be in the description box below and I have some cool things coming up so make sure you stay to the end or I might mention them now I have a new t-shirt line so go to the description box below and you'll see different t-shirts that I have. They're going to pop up on the screen right now. I've been really trying. Different t-shirts that I have available for purchase, so make sure you check those out. So, with further ado, let's get to this Q&A. Okay. So, I have a lot of questions. So let's start with our Snapchat questions. I'm going to tell you who said it. Okay. This was said by Run Al Saeed. Can you tell me what to get to prepare for a volleyball tryout? Okay, to prepare for volleyball tryouts, I don't suggest buying anything just quite yet because you never know what will happen. And I would hate for you to spend a lot of money on items that you're not gonna use yet. So for volleyball tryouts, I suggest you get a sneaker, a comfortable sneaker, like I have these Nike sneakers on right now, a comfortable sneaker, Get a t-shirt, a full t-shirt that covers your whole chest all the way up. Full t-shirt, a sports bra, one that works and it fits for you, and it's high impact. So when you jump, you don't feel your boobs move as much. And comfortable shorts that can be spandex, um, Sophie shorts, athletic shorts. That's what I recommend you use for your tryout. And get a headband. Keep your hair out of your face. Don't have your hair down. Put your hair in a ponytail and have your hair out of your face, okay? Our next question is Desiree. What's your favorite thing about volleyball? My favorite thing about volleyball is playing with other people and communicating and meeting new people. I have met so many people over the years playing volleyball in different places around the world, different places around the country, and that is my favorite thing about volleyball is playing the game and meeting new people. Hey Coco, and this question, oh I don't know who this is from. Hey Coco, my question is when you started playing volleyball, was it hard for you? And the answer is yes. So I have a volleyball story coming up, but I'm just gonna tell you a little brief before I do my volleyball story. I started playing volleyball in 10th grade. Ooh, that's late, I know. I started playing volleyball in 10th grade and I was terrible. And I mean terrible. I knew nothing. So yes, volleyball in the beginning was hard for me, but I'm gonna teach you guys how to overcome that because I've come a long way. Elizabeth, what state do you coach in? I coach in Atlanta, Georgia, but I do coach in North Carolina sometimes. And, but I do online coaching sessions. So if you want to get coaching with me, then I do online coaching sessions. Hannah Washburn asks, how do your online volleyball lessons work? I'm gonna do another video where it's gonna have a tutorial on how to book an online session with me. And in online sessions, basically, we're gonna go over volleyball terminology, volleyball skills, volleyball, um, how we can show you body practice. I'll give you some drills to do at home, stuff like that. Okay. Let's see. So let's check out our questions from Instagram. Okay, so I have quite a few questions. So here are some of our questions from Instagram. And this is by Lilia113. I'm 14 years old and I'm gonna try for the first time in my life. I play recreational, but is it enough to have a chance on the team? Yes, never give up on your dreams no matter what. Even everybody starts from zero, okay? Everybody starts from the bottom. I started as a beginner and then I got up here. Every, even those USA volleyball players you watch, Misty May, even all of those people you watch volleyball, who play volleyball, started from here and they made it up to up here with training, hard work, and dedication. And that's what I'm here to do for you. So never doubt that you won't make the team. You have to be confident. And I know I say confidence all the time. Let's see, Hannah Rose. How do your volleyball sessions work? Have a video coming for you, girl. Queen Brittany 14, what usually happens during tryouts? 
I'm trying out for the first time and I'm nervous but really excited. During tryouts, they're gonna test your skills, and I made a video about this, but during tryouts, they're gonna test your skills, passing or bumping, setting, spiking or hitting, and serving. And those are the skills they're gonna see if you can do them well and see where you are. Kitty Coats, what is the most important part to a jump serve? For any kind of serve, the most important part of a serve is the toss in your form. The toss, I can honestly say, let's say about 70% of the reasons why serves don't go over is because of the toss. Look at your toss, and I have a serving video coming up for you guys. Sammy Keen, how old were you when you started playing volleyball? When I started playing volleyball, I was in 10th grade. I'm not sure how old that is. I was in 10th grade when I started playing, and it was my first time playing ever. Sammy Keen, can you give me tips on overhand serving? I have an overhand serving video coming up, but overhand serving, I'm gonna give you a basic overview. You're gonna start with your hand out, your other hand on top of the ball, bow, arrow, toss, hit, okay? We're gonna go more into depth with that. Aaron Slut, can the ball go over the net with only two people hit it? Like does there have to be three hits or else it won't count. Okay, so the ball can go over the net even if one person hits it. If two people hit it, but the ideal formula is you want the ball to go over the net when three people hit it. Bump, set, spike. Bump, set, spike. That is the ideal formula that you want volleyball to go. In an ideal perfect world. Sometimes the ball just has to go over. So yes, it still does count, but you really want to aim for bump, set, spike. Haley Sheridan. My tryouts are in a week. Any tips? Girl, this whole video is for you. Let's see. Baby Taryn, how long have I been playing volleyball? I've been playing 10th grade. I am 23 years old now. So let's see. 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hmm, about nine years, going on 10 years now. I really wanted to make the team eighth grade. Any diving tips? Girl, there's a diving video coming up for you. It is a diving video coming up because we gotta talk about that. Okay, my trials are on Monday. Is there anything else I, else I need to know in order to make the team? Make sure you introduce yourself to the coach. Remember that. And this is by Wallace Out Rules. Make sure you introduce yourself to the coach. So, hey coach, my name is Wallace Out and I'm here to try out for your volleyball team. I'm really excited. I hope to show you my best. And thank you so much for the opportunity. That goes a long way, guys. Barry Baylala. <laughs> Do you need more upper body strength or lower body strength during volleyball? It's a combination of both. So I'm gonna have a lot of different things on my channel where it's gonna show you like jumping power, um, hitting power. There's, it's a full body, volleyball's a full body exercise. So it depends on both. I've seen some really tiny girls, like five one, get up and hit that ball in that net. I've seen some bigger girls, some curvier girls, get up and hit the ball in the net. So it is a, it is a, it's a power game, but it's a full body game. But it's more of a form. It more matters about form. Okay, that was all the answer questions. Now we have some YouTube questions. I'm trying not to have this video go on forever. Are volleyball shoes a must have? I know I've been saying this to all the questions, but I do have a volleyball shoes video coming up. If you're serious about volleyball, if you are serious about volleyball, like you make the team, yes, volleyball shoes are a must. Volleyball shoes have a different type of traction on the bottom of them that is appropriate for a court. You never wear your volleyball shoes outside, but they are appropriate for the court. Like, let me show you an example. These Nike shoes I have on are made for running. These are made for running, okay? Those are general athletic shoes, okay? My volleyball shoes look completely different on the bottom, and I'm gonna have a video coming up for that vouch for you. Do volleyball knee pads come with the uniform? I'm sorry, that was, that was answered by Maddie K. Okay. Our, Ariella Bay said, do you volleyball knee pads come with a uniform or do you have to buy some? Most teams, it depends on what school you go to, but most teams, they have a uniform, what the uniform would look like, but you have to purchase it. So some teams, let's say, let's say your colors are orange and dark blue. Your team will have a uniform, what it looks like, and they'll send you the link to purchase them. So yes, knee pads are a must. Let's see, Savannah Parsons, can you make a video on how to spike a volleyball? Gotcha, girl. I'm good with everything but spiking. So can you show tips and tricks? That would be amazing. I love you so much, Coco. Keep working hard. I love you too, but yes. I have a spiking video coming up. 
What pointers do I have for liberos? Okay, liberos are a fun position. They are so fun. As I became an adult, I started to like playing as a libero. And the libero, the most important part is your passing. So you need to really niche down and focus on your passing, your digging, your bumping, whatever you like to call it, you need to really focus on it because as a libero, the libero is the best passer on the team, which means you need to be the best passer on the team. So what I highly suggest you start doing is having somebody toss a ball to you. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for a volleyball that I use, but that you can purchase on Amazon for cheap, girl, cheap. But having somebody toss a ball to you and repeatedly toss a ball to you and you try to get it back to the target. And we're gonna have another passing video. So remember, your hands go wrapping around and bring it in. Make sure your platform is as flat as possible. You see here? Flat as possible. And then you bump. So we're gonna have another video on passing. Um, Kiara Poet says, what are the most must know basics that you need to know when trying out? And how do you do them? What do they look like? The basics? Okay, so the basics are, I had that video, how to try out for your high school, middle school volleyball team. Basically, everything that I said in that video holds true. I promise it will help you. It will help you increase your chances. Not everybody, let's say, honestly, sadly, not everybody who's gonna try out is gonna make their team. And I know, I know that's disappointing, but that's what we want. We want 100% success rate, but not everybody's gonna make their team. So that video is a very good indicator of telling you what to expect, and I have a what to expect video that will really help you um, with what you're looking for. Let's see. Advice to freshmen with no previous experience. Be confident, it takes time to learn. It takes time to learn. Girl, I started at the bottom. Would you guys like me to put up some of my old clips? Because I, I have them. If you wanna see them, I have them. What is your, okay, that was by Casey Lewis. Precious Canelo, what is your advice for volleyball players that are new to serving overhand, spiking, and setting? How do you accept when your team doesn't usually set you up for spike? Okay, so if your team isn't setting you up for a spike, you need to talk to your setter because that could be an easy conversation. So have a conversation with her like, hey, I noticed that you're not setting me up in games as much. I just want to know why. And then you also need to talk to your setter about the kind of the kind of set that you like because every person hits a ball differently. So have that conversation with your setter. Um, what is my favorite position to play? Emily Harris. My favorite position is outside hitter. Kennedy Jarvis. What is your advice to middle school volleyball tryouts? Be confident. Don't be nervous, Kennedy. You got this. Be confident. All right, so I hope that you like this Q&A. I hope it's not too long and you stay to the end. And I have that announcement. Once again, my t-shirt line is going on. It's called the 2017 Cocoa Pancake line, 2017 pink pancake line. So t-shirts are $15. Make sure you get your shirt now. And then we're almost to 1,000 subscribers and then we're gonna have a big giveaway. So with everything, I'll see you guys next time.